Welcome to Astronomy Daily, your source for the latest space and astronomy news. I'm your host, Anna, and we've got an exciting lineup of stories for you today. From innovative methods to protect our planet from potential asteroid impacts to groundbreaking discoveries on the surface of Mars, we'll be exploring the cutting edge of space exploration and research. We'll also be catching up with astronauts returning from the International Space Station, looking ahead to upcoming missions, and even delving into some cosmic history that might have affected Earth's climate millions of years ago. So strap in and get ready for a journey across the solar system and beyond as we bring you up to speed on the most fascinating developments in astronomy and space science. And let's kick off with something quite exciting. In a groundbreaking development, scientists have proposed a new method to protect our planet from potential asteroid impacts. A recent study published in Nature Physics suggests that powerful X-rays could be an effective way to divert asteroids on collision courses with Earth. While the chances of a large asteroid hitting our planet are extremely low, the consequences could be catastrophic. That's why researchers are constantly exploring new ways to defend against this cosmic threat. The study, conducted by a team from Sandia National Laboratories in the USA, used lab-based experiments to simulate asteroid deflection. They fired X-ray pulses at small rock samples, mimicking the effects of X-rays generated by nuclear explosions in space. Here's how it works. The X-rays would heat up the surface of an approaching asteroid, causing some of its material to vaporize. As this vaporized rock expands, it creates a thrust that could alter the asteroid's trajectory, potentially steering it away from Earth. What's particularly exciting about this method is its potential effectiveness on larger asteroids. The researchers estimate that it could work on space rocks up to four kilometers in diameter. That's significantly larger than the asteroid that wiped out the dinosaurs, which was believed to be about 10 to 15 kilometers wide. This X-ray deflection method could offer several advantages over other proposed asteroid defense strategies. It's potentially faster and more cost-effective than sending a spacecraft to physically impact or redirect an asteroid, as NASA did with its DART mission in 2022. While more research is needed, this study opens up new possibilities for planetary defense, giving us another tool in our arsenal to protect Earth from cosmic collisions. And some good news to report today. In a triumphant return from the cosmos, NASA astronaut Tracy C. Dyson and her two crewmates have safely touched down on Earth after an incredible 184-day journey in space. The Soyuz MS-25 spacecraft made a picture-perfect landing on the steppes of Kazakhstan, bringing an end to a mission that spanned an astonishing 78 million miles. Dyson's expedition was nothing short of remarkable, completing nearly 3,000 orbits around our blue planet. But the real headline grabber of this mission was her Russian colleague, cosmonaut Oleg Kononenko. He's now etched his name in the history books, setting an all-time record with a cumulative 1,111 days in space across five missions. That's more than three years of his life spent floating above the Earth. The crew's return journey began as they undocked from the International Space Station, their home for the past six months. As they plummeted through the atmosphere, their spacecraft was enveloped in a fiery glow before the parachutes deployed, gently lowering them to the ground. This mission exemplifies the ongoing international cooperation in space exploration, with astronauts and cosmonauts working side by side to push the boundaries of human knowledge and endurance in the harsh environment of space. And in other space station news, NASA and SpaceX are gearing up for an exciting milestone in their ongoing partnership. The Crew-9 mission to the International Space Station is set to launch this Thursday, marking a significant first for the space program. What makes this launch particularly noteworthy is its location. For the first time, a crewed mission will lift off from Space Launch Complex 40 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station, this pad was recently certified for human spaceflight after extensive upgrades, including the addition of a crew access arm and tower. The Falcon 9 rocket, featuring booster B.185 on its second flight, will carry the Crew Dragon spacecraft named Freedom. This will be Freedom's fourth trip to space, having previously supported other crewed missions. Interestingly, this mission will have a smaller crew than initially planned. Only two astronauts will be on board. NASA's Tyler Nick Haig, serving as commander, and Roscosmos cosmonaut Alexander Gorbunov as mission specialist. This change accommodates the delayed Boeing Starliner crew test flight. Weather permitting, liftoff is targeted for 2.05 p.m. Eastern time on Thursday. However, a potential tropical storm off the Florida coast might cause delays, so space enthusiasts should stay tuned for updates. 
Uh, now let's turn our attention to Mars. NASA's Perseverance rover has made an intriguing discovery on Mars that's got scientists buzzing with excitement. While exploring the slopes leading to the Jezero crater rim, the rover spotted a rock unlike any seen before on the red planet. The rock, nicknamed Freya Castle, is about 20 centimeters across and features striking black and white stripes. This unusual pattern has caught the attention of both the science team and space enthusiasts around the world. What makes this discovery particularly interesting is that the rock's texture is completely different from anything previously observed in Jezero Crater, or potentially even on all of Mars. While the exact composition is still unknown, early interpretations suggest that igneous or metamorphic processes might be responsible for creating these distinctive stripes. Interestingly, Freya Castle appears to be a loose stone, different from the surrounding bedrock. This suggests it may have rolled down from a higher location, potentially offering a tantalizing glimpse of what lies further up the crater rim. As Perseverance continues its uphill journey, researchers are hopeful they might encounter more rocks like this or even find the source outcrop. Such a discovery could provide a wealth of new information about Mars' geological history and processes. This striped rock is just one of several intriguing finds made by Perseverance as it explores the crater rim area. The increasing variety of rock types being observed has scientists speculating about the possibility of encountering ancient rocks uplifted from deep below the surface by the Jezero impact. In other Mars news, a celebration if you like. NASA's MAVEN spacecraft has reached an incredible milestone, celebrating a decade of exploration in Mars's upper atmosphere. Since its arrival on September 21st, 2014, MAVEN has been tirelessly gathering data and making groundbreaking discoveries about the red planet's atmospheric dynamics. One of MAVEN's key findings has been uncovering how Mars atmosphere responds to solar activity. The spacecraft has revealed that solar storms can dramatically increase atmospheric erosion, playing a crucial role in transforming Mars from a potentially habitable world to the cold, arid planet we see today. MAVEN has also made unexpected discoveries, such as identifying a new type of aurora on Mars. Unlike Earth's auroras, which are primarily caused by electrons, Martian auroras are created by protons and can occur across the entire planet. The mission has provided invaluable insights into Mars's climate history, mapping wind circulation in the upper atmosphere, and observing how global dust storms affect atmospheric loss. These findings are helping scientists piece together the puzzle of Mars's dramatic climate change over billions of years. As MAVEN continues its extended mission, it promises to deliver even more exciting discoveries about our neighboring planet. The wealth of data collected over the past decade has revolutionized our understanding of Mars's atmosphere and its evolution, bringing us closer to unraveling the mysteries of the red planet's past and potential habitability. Have you ever wondered what happens to planet Earth as it travels through space? As we journey through our galaxy, Earth encounters various celestial phenomena, and a recent study has shed light on some fascinating events from our planet's distant past. Researchers have calculated that Earth and our entire solar system may have passed through two dense interstellar clouds approximately two and seven million years ago. These cosmic encounters could have had significant impacts on our planet's climate. The study suggests that as Earth passed through these dense clouds, they could have compressed our heliosphere the bubble-like region of space influenced by the sun's magnetic field and solar wind. This compression would have exposed Earth more directly to the interstellar medium. The effects of such an event could be far-reaching. Scientists believe it might have led to an increase in hydrogen levels in Earth's upper atmosphere. This excess hydrogen could then have been converted into water molecules in the lower atmosphere, potentially altering our planet's climate. Perhaps most intriguingly, these interstellar cloud encounters may have triggered the formation of global noctilucent clouds in Earth's mesosphere. These high-altitude clouds could have blocked a significant amount of sunlight from reaching the surface, potentially plunging our planet into an ice age. While these events occurred millions of years ago, studying them helps us understand the complex interplay between our planet, our solar system, and the larger galaxy we inhabit. It's a reminder of the dynamic nature of our cosmic environment and how events on a galactic scale can influence life on Earth. And that wraps up another exciting episode of Astronomy Daily. 
From powerful X-rays deflecting asteroids to striped Martian rocks and Earth's journey through interstellar clouds, the universe never fails to amaze us with its wonders and mysteries. Before we sign off, I want to remind you that there's so much more to explore in the world of astronomy and space science. If you're hungry for more cosmic content, head over to our website at astronomydaily.io. There, you'll find our constantly updating news feed packed with the latest space and astronomy news, perfect for staying on top of all the developments we couldn't fit into today's episode. While you're there, why not sign up for our free daily newsletter? It's a great way to get your astronomy fix delivered straight to your inbox every day. And if you're looking to dive deeper into any of the topics we've covered today or in past episodes, our entire archive is available on the website. It's a treasure trove of astronomical knowledge just waiting to be discovered. Don't forget to connect with us on social media too. You can find us as Astro Daily Pod on Facebook, X, YouTube, and TikTok. Follow us for bite-sized space facts, stunning cosmic images, and updates on when new episodes drop. I'm Anna, and it's been my pleasure to be your guide through the cosmos today. Thank you so much for tuning in to Astronomy Daily. Keep looking up, stay curious, and we'll see you next time for another journey through the stars. Astronomy.